You all are unfruitful and a total blatant failure. Bishop Oyedipo, the founder of Winners Chapel, don't finally come out, come address the issue when they go viral for social media since then. Talk say in sack over 40 pastors because of low income. According to Papa, in talk say they're not they fruitful enough to the work under a ministry. Hello, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Violet Bass TV. To my returnees, thank you so much for coming back to support me. And if this is your first time coming across my video, please support me by hitting on the subscribe button and remember to put up the post notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you will get notified and be the first to watch. God bless you all for your massive love and support. So my people, today we won't talk about our pastor, Bishop Oyedipo, founder of Living Faith Worldwide, popularly known as Winner's Chapel. The man took to his congregation and he addressed them as, We ask you all to go because you are unfruitful, blatant failure. Oyedipo speak on the sack of multiple pastors on, of his church over low income in their branches. As for those on social media calling his church out for sack, he said they were all silent when he employed pastors on a large scale. When we employed 7,000 pastors at once, social media was dead. Bishop Oyedipo said, Hardin, we have more employees in this organization than most of the states. People at Saka immediately released this statement. The talk say whether he gets multiple or thousands of employees for in church or on a part of business because as he alone no go fit take charge or responsibility for all the branches when he gets worldwide. So now in duty to employ pastors to run a forum. People talk say as a pastor, you're not supposed to use this word on fruitful, blatant failure. Why? Because say if he be said these people know they walk towards how he wants. As a man of God, he go pray for them to become fruitful. All oh, now the work of God, all of them they do. So I not believe say any man of God we call another man of God a blatant failure. People talk say they're not like waiting how uh, Oyedipo Kote address this issue. Make it not just use English to brainwash them because the meaning of unfruitfulness, nasty lack of income, like nasty lack of waiting the miss for the church so people read judge said where well, they're not doing the right way to judge why because say now nah, god now nah, go judge people talk say so being unfruitful is using god's name to extract money from the poor like how will you call a pastor say you know they are fruitful enough that is why you sack them people read talk say this man not doing well as a man of god if they are a complete blatant failure you can use your god proving power to deliver them people talk say stop twisting english mr pastor they are not bringing in money as expected they didn't meet up with targets It's the same as unfruitful why my people will not be in the right shoe to judge as i talk on before so make una leave now a comment at the comment section and your opinion how you see how our papa conte react over this viral video when they go and meanwhile i go still drop the video of the man when B say he can't talk how the details suck him. you understand so i go still drop the video thank you so much guys i will see you on my next video bye for now bye it is a go and bring the rich people are confused about our ministry i mean <laughs> Um, and last some fellow said, you know, uh, they are not bringing income. That's why they ask them to go. We ask you to go because you're unfruitful. Unfruitful, blatant failure. You know, doing what there? We have no patience with failure here. Amen. Now, when we employ 7,000 people at a time, social media was dead. Dead. We have more employees in this organization than most of the states. No one is owed a dime salary. And we don't borrow, we don't beg, ask our bank whether we take over draft. We are covenant bond people. Walking in the light of God's world. Enjoying an open heaven. We have fully delivered the first phase of 1,000 plus buildings. 
the rural churches. <laughs> None of those churches can generate that fund in the next 30 years. No. We are hunting after souls. Money, nonsense. Money. We've never lacked it, and yet we have never prayed for it. We are just simply obeying God, and He's backing up <laughs> what He's asking us to do. Awesome God. Now, the next set is about to be flagged off, just certifying the landed property issues. Nothing else. We have no lack of anything. The world is confused. Walking in the light of God's word. Please obey God to the full and watch out for his manifestations in your life. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? Well, you don't need so much mathematics to know a thousand buildings. That is not one thousand error each. That's not ten million each. That's not twelve million each. That's not fourteen million each. Some are 35 million. At a go, we have never seen it ourselves. We just watch God doing it. Only criteria. How many souls have they got in there? Then build for them. How many souls? Not once. How much money do they have? I said, come. Come and give the Lord praise. <laughs> Apart from individuals now investing. In promoting the kingdom of God, building five churches, some building two, some building three. Obedience will turn you to a living wonder. Just obey God. Have you ever seen us raise a prayer point or oh God send us money? You have been here for some time. We pray every day. Now we pray three times a day. Covenant hour prayer. Covenant revival prayer. Morning and evening. <laughs> Going out every day on the streets. Well, you want to see what you see, go and do what you do. But if you are not saved, there is nothing you do that matters. <laughs> there is nothing you do that matters. Peter God in Honorida, a pastor in Living Faith Church, Winners Chapel International, Abete, Ikeri Ekiti. Thank you. you. You told us you are sacked for no reason and that you want to reach the leadership and the entire Christian body. To know what has happened. What really happened, Pastor Godwin? Actually, by the special grace of God, our Father and the Lord, the Apostle over this commission, Living Faith Church, received a mandate from the Lord to plant 10,000 churches in Nigeria. And by the special grace of God, I'm privileged to be one of the pastors that was employed on the 28th of August, year 2020. That was last year. So, after that, I engaged in kingdom advancement endeavor. I've been going about doing my duty to the Lord Almighty, trying my possible best to make sure I win souls to Christ. And unfortunately, on the 1st of June, and here is, here is my deployment letter. This is my deployment letter. You can see that, you can view it. This is my deployment letter, which carries my name and my station. So on the 1st of July, of this, of the 1st of July, I received a, a call from the state church that the state pastor wants to see me so i thought i am the only one so i was surprised i went and when i went i saw some pastors over 40 pastors seated so i joined them few minutes later we were issued a letter and here is the letter here is the letter so i tried to open the content of the letter to see what was there i saw that it's a letter of release and it says consequent upon the recent performance review which reveal that your church growth index falls below expectations. Please be informed that your service as a pastor in charge are no longer required from this commission with immediate effect. You are to vacate the official accommodation and hand over all properties of the ministry in your custody, including the staff ID card and to the area pastor before departure. So hand over all properties of the ministry in your custody, including the staff ID card and to the area pastor before departure. So I called the management the following day to know what has really happened. This since I I am not uh, I do not engage in any devious act or any evil act 
So, and what I, I was told from the management was that, you see, Pastor, it is well, this, op this commission doesn't operate at a loss. So, I was so surprised. So, when I heard that, so, and they, they also told me the total income that, that is generated from my station should be able to cater for my welfare and my accommodation. So, as a result of low income, I am hereby dismissed. You also told us you are not giving exit package and that your letter, in your letter, rather, they said, may you find grace for the new beginning. What does that mean, sir? Yes, sir. When I received the exit form, I filled everything needed to be filled and everything was intact. I gave the letter to them. Nothing like exit package, nothing was given to us. We just have to just go like that. All right, Pastor Godwin, you also told us that you were asked to vacate your accommodation. Yes, I was told in the letter I am to vacate it with immediate effect and hand over everything to the area pastor. Possibly that is what they said. And you see, I have to just try to run around to see anywhere I can just get accommodation. So it's, it's uncalled for, it's uncalled for. And I want 